But yeah, she didn't deserve that. So she already know domestic violence isn't no joke. If someone put his hands on her because of words. And, uh, you know, I'm just saying, like, no one deserved that. Even if, you know, and people act like they don't know who they're dating. Like, I'm not going to say this is her because I don't know her. And some people are toxic, you know. And they do things just to get on your nerve because they mad and not getting their way. And that's why I said a lot of people are still maturing. Be careful who you have kids with. And I remember she made a post last year. And people could act like they do lose them. But she made this post. And I shouldn't have to bring up proof and evidence like I'm some FBI. That's really some stalker. I'm not like a big OG fan, but like I'm a fan. And I have proof and I witnessed it. She made a post saying she's not the bigger person. She's not the bigger person. And it was a joke what she said. She just showing that, you know, she could be a little toxic. And at the end of the day, I just believe where I see women, yeah, take it serious if a woman is saying that she ain't gonna let you see your kids. You can literally use that as evidence in court and get custody hearing. Like, y'all men, and that's why I really don't want to have kids because some men are so dumbfounded. Like, oh, I'm dealing with a toxic mom. baby mom. You hear someone dealing with that in 2022? They want to deal with that. Because the court has so much power, especially if you're a good dad and you kept all the receipts of everything that you did for this person. And when the woman had the baby, she switched up on you. You could literally get the judge to be on your side because my friend literally went to court and said that she is um some fancy word but basically she um don't deserve it because she keep being disrespectful to you when you're doing everything and holding the kid over his head like this is what I got like it's a trophy like it's punishment because you didn't want to put up with me and stuff like I do this to you and do that and it's like you could take that to court literally and you can win in court you just have to have evidence recording all that like I even know a youtuber that and I'm not gonna put his name because it's not about him or his baby mama it's just it's like like when I was dealing with harassment in my job I had proof I show video I have voice recording and they felt bad for me they even told me they could pay me a week off work then they found a post for me they asked me if I want to go to work and I was able to work I made a report I made a police report going to the internet just saying that someone did this to you it's not gonna do anything going to say that your baby mama's toxic is not gonna do anything take it to court I don't know how these people have like over twenty thousand dollars I make thirty thousand dollars a year you make that in a month, probably. And you don't have the common sense to know to take somebody to court. I hope that helps somebody who else is going through situations like that. Because I literally got to tell my homeboy, aha, I told you I was right. I told you to take her to court. So the other thing I wrote. Okay, I already said that. Because, like, he, like, I seen pictures of him. You know, giving her a kiss, taking good care of Yoshan. But there was parts of her going through changes. And, like, the relationship wasn't working. And he was leaving her for another woman. And that had to hurt like hell. Like, you don't want her. Like, y'all was all happy and in love about Yoshan. And you blushing and smiling. And now it's like... It is what it is. But, and I didn't even know her media got changed, meaning she was the real cow sister and something happened. I don't know what happened. And now she's Miss Already Dawn. And it's like, at the end of the day, I understand her pain when she said, like, 
throughout the whole podcast, y'all didn't see that she was helping someone grow, reaching out to make someone grow on their platform. And um, there was some other funny clips, you know, but they used that one. So I, I completely understand. Because I, I like the one. It made me, it was funny. Like, she is funny. Like, I'd rather swallow glass than have kids. Like, I'm telling you. Because if a man drives you crazy and you think about having his kid and he do stuff that piss you off. And, you know, I could be dealing with someone who's immature or whatever. It's just sometimes I notice just be careful who you have kids with because ain't no way i'm gonna be the great money mommy lamb and think i'm gonna get some great reward because i'm taking care of our kid paying all the bills and i know i'm supposed to do that but you know there's rare women like me and don't call me white girl where you don't have the baby daddy paying child support you know child support is if you need child support like you can't take care of the kid by yourself but there's some women out here that use it as an advantage to use it for their self needs and i hate men when they be like all women are the same if all the women are same same go gay okay i shouldn't see you with another woman okay because no we're not no we're not everybody needs are different you feel me there's women out here that you know, they don't want to be married. And if you don't want to be together, y'all don't have to be together. Y'all could hook up, take care of the kids, and have a happy day. There's some people who want to be married and have a family because they didn't have a family growing up. So that's what they want. There's some people who are together. The woman take care of everything or the guy take care of everything. One of the parties don't need you to supply. They just need you to be there for the kid. So... I like the podcast. It was funny. There was other stuff that was funny. And um, I wish it lasted a little longer. But I always get concerned because, you know, I be trying to like, you know, I wish I could give her my thick skin because sometimes there's always going to be that pain in the neck. It's like a job that somebody's going to take something the wrong way or try to twist it and it's because they hate you idolize you think that you got money that your life is so perfect you're in the limelight you get everything you want i don't get everything i want why do you get it and i don't yeah all you gotta do is pray to jesus and some of y'all i ain't gonna lie some of her haters y'all be crusty no lotion no smile on y'all face like how you think people supposed to like you and you're not even lovable that's why Dier is lovable. That's why Ari is lovable. That's why Kylie Jenner is lovable. Because they look lovable. They look good. Like, nobody's going to like a bum that's not doing shit with their life. Like, not starting a business. Um, not keeping a good credit score. Having a good car. Like, you could be a regular person like me with a good job with a good honda ain't like high class but i'm not i don't have nothing you know i'm not starting from the scrap where i'm just taking lift and ubers and i used to take lift and ubers but um i even found a cheaper way like i used to wake up an hour early before work and walk an hour and if i was sweaty i'll dry myself off with a like a rag and get to work just to save money because you know it's hard out here but you gotta make it easy for yourself and, um that's all I gotta say I don't like that that happened and it's like I feel like it, it even gets scary to me like it get dark for me like i feel like he purposely tried her let me try to make an example out of her because like how you gonna hit somebody and think you could get a 
really, really is some shit. Cause he wouldn't dare raise his voice or hit, and that's why I be watching these men. Cause it's like they, like I don't know why they like that. Some of them feel like they could treat you how they feel like they want to treat you. Even like Ella when she used to do so cute stuff with a boogie, making Easter baskets and um giving him weed stuff. It's like she put weed in the Easter eggs for him when they was dating. And this fool had the nerve to say, oh, you don't know his wife. You don't know she's cheating behind his back. You don't know she was just like, I'm like, Ella don't cheat. She was really, really in love with A Boogie. She was there before A Boogie got famous. There's a video of A Boogie in a white t-shirt, a picture. And it's sometimes on Instagram, it sometimes Explore shows me it. Sometimes it does. It'd be random. But like, there's a picture, even her wearing some weird lip gloss on her lips. And it's like, yeah, they, they was together. That was his boo thing. They was together, together, before the fame. Like, at the bottom. So I don't get why people be like, every girl is slimy. Not, not every girl is like that. There is some girls out here on IG that be models, that be dating guys just to get money to get more money like say they make thirty thousand dollar a month they know they could talk to this rapper or believe they could talk to a rapper and get 10k they don't get their money they don't get their weight they leave them okay there's some and you know I'm, I'm not nosy to be like oh let me dig through someone past i don't care for that i really don't i just be hoping y'all be careful because people are slimy out here and they be low-key recording, got new devices to record you and take photos of you. And, <laughs> like, just be careful. Yeah, just be careful. I don't know why I thought that dark, dark, dark thought about him. But that's how I feel. Like, because Ari comes off sweet and... I dealt with people who took my sweetness and think they could do things and mishandle me and I didn't do shit to them. And as soon as I leave, they start pulling up at my job, begging on their knees, crying, wanting me back. But you act like you didn't need me. Like, you got your ego boosted. You dated a beautiful woman and thought you could get the other woman with the big booty. And that's what I dealt with a lot of times. And it's like, Y'all men have fantasies where y'all like girls with a body and try to make girls that are skinny and don't have a body. And I don't want to get my body done. I seen someone that is skinny got her body done and she looks weird. She looks like a doll that been touched up and her legs are still skinny. It's like you cannot gain weight. And it's like you got fat in these areas. Why is it hard for you to gain weight? I'm not going to plastic surgery. Even women that get Botox and say, oh, when I get more money, I'm going to get my boobs done. For what? You didn't even have kids. And it's like, I don't even know how people be on live and be having filters. Like, do you think you're ugly or something? Because I be posting just how, what am I supposed to do with my face? My face is my face. So, I don't understand why people be so ashamed to, like, post how they really look. There's nothing wrong with your face. And if it is, that's someone else's opinion. That's why I be like, y'all be into these baddies, but they be having these filters and insecurity and caring what other people think. And literally, there's a quote from John Gotti in his movie and some old man it's not in the show Different Worlds another show I think it's Boy Meet Girl where he just this professor just telling the boy you let people dictate and tell you and make you feel and change how you act you're never gonna live life you're always gonna be under their spell like you're their muppet like I know this would trigger her and this would trigger you. That's why you're not supposed to give no shits. 
the only one I've seen that mastered that so far. Pierre, Kylie. Cause I'm gonna be the type of person that like anything someone says, I'm not giving you a response. That's my response. Cause I'm not saying anything that's unfactual. That's it. Never want to have children another day in my life because it sucks. It sucks. Never ever in my life want to have another child ever. Would rather swallow glass. Swear to God, I will never have. Man, some people just want to tear you down, have you like against one another, and it's like, like Instagram is weird, like the example of the world. Like, there's love and hate. People are going to hate you. People are going to judge you. People you think that's going to support you end up hating you and switching up on you. And you just can't take things personally. Because, like, honestly, if you take stuff personally, then you're going to get yourself hurt. That's why I said people be careful who you date. Because, you know, you are maturing. You know? And you don't know who you really are dating. That's why I said therapy. Because one time I was telling my friend that, you know, you're being toxic towards her. And he's like, he knows. And he don't want to go to therapy because the therapist is going to show when she's explained his toxic behaviors that he's toxic. And he's the problem. And he's not going to change his ways. So... You know, that's why I always tell people, a manipulator is not going to tell you they're a manipulator. A liar is not going to tell you they're a liar. A thief ain't going to come in your house and say, hey, I'm a thief. And I'm a steal. A th Everybody's sneaky. Everybody got secret agendas. You know? Especially if you're a good person. Don't be thinking out here people are good like you. That's one mistake I made. Coming from a real person. Look at, look at Tupac. He gave me so many, like, there's more videos coming out on him, of his interviews. And I was like, where are these interviews coming from? Because I couldn't find them. And, like, somebody had them locked away and they brought it out on Instagram where he said, a phony person's going to show you that they're phony. You just got to watch them. You got to shut up and watch them. That's what Tupac said. And I believe him. Because literally... I seen people who talk like they got it and don't got shit going for their life. I seen people who complain and rather do illegal stuff, knowing they need a job to pay their bills, making it seem like working is such a terrible thing. And working for your own money is not a terrible thing. So that's why I always tell people you gotta see people when they broke, happy, mad, sad, angry, like. I got to see you in all five stages before I say I love you. Because if you're angry and I say something that's truthful, that's supposed to empower you to change and do better, and you don't want to do better and change and you do something petty, like put your hands on me, threaten me, say you're going to hurt me, you think I'm going to want to be with you? Do you think you should be with someone who does that? I'm just saying, like, you know a lot of people you know my my last tech she was like kind of scared to tell me like you know she her boy and Ari relationship was toxic yeah it has some toxic issues I feel like one didn't want to listen one didn't want to communicate I don't know which one was I'm not like you know how people be into people life life I'm not into people life life you I don't know T that's why it's like it's, it would be cool to hang with people but like i'm i'm this type of person if i'm by tay and someone's bringing up some tea or gossip that's true or false about it, i'm gonna walk out the room something about the year i'm gonna walk out the room because i don't want to hear that girl i'd rather hear that hey there's a there's a way to make ten thousand dollars and it's an audition in atlanta and they're looking for models my height and my skin color that's what i'd rather hear i'm not i don't i don't want to hear no shit like, your gossip is not going to help me. You know, it's not going to even feed me. It's not going to turn into a cute taco with sour cream and guacamole and wild sauce 
and cheese and ground turkey with beef. Now I'm hungry. But that's all I gotta say. So deuces. Save this bitch, I can start. say whatever the fuck I wanna say. Start shutting the fuck Yo, up. Yo, bitch, bitch, you start shutting the fuck up. Happy Hello. Happy Hello. Hello. My name is Bitch. Happy Hello. 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 Now, I'm not having that. That's fucking ridiculous. That's insulting. Can I at least get a cup of tea? I'm fucking gasping. You have 24 hours to make this payment. Otherwise, I die. Shut up. Are you taking the piss? You're joking. Hello. 